Hello again. So here is another clip. Uh, if I have this device uh, with this appearance, I have done wiring with an, a, a, a secondary reader like this, this reader, then uh, I have added users on the device because the device menu, uh, let me let me just get into the menu as an admin. Uh, so I'll key in the password. It's quite a complex process. So I'll just key in. So uh, uh, once I key in, I log in. I, I check there is a list of users. Uh, I have a list of users in the device. If I want to export this user and have it on my Smart PSS uh, Lite, uh, if I come to Smart PSS Lite under Personnel, uh, I may not have users list. So I want to import this and manage access control on the device. Then uh, this is what I'll do. Number one, I add the device on Smart PSS. How do I add the device on Smart PSS? I just come to the bottom here under Device Manager and do a search. Uh, of course, I'll I'll auto discover this device. Uh, so once I discover it, I just click Add. Then I key in the password and username. So once I key in the username and password. Then I'll be able to to log in. Uh, so it, it comes online on Smart PSS Lite. So once it comes online, then I come back to home. Uh, then I come to personnel. I can easily extract this list of users from the device by selecting this option, extract. Uh, uh, then I select the device. So you can select the device and extract the list of users. So I have three users from the device, like you confirmed on the other menu, so I just select like this, then extract. I can extract here, I can also export export to to an, uh, an Excel file. So that is the options I have, then I can use the users list to do whatever I want. So that is it. So if it exports successfully. So then now, if I have this users list, now I can do access and attendance, uh, configuration. Uh, I'll show you uh, how to configure attendance in uh, another in another video.